The brutal challenges can be quite difficult as they're locked on hard mode so there's no way to beat them without getting good or cheesing it. We'll be doing the latter on every single fight so consider subscribing as I show you how to beat all of them with ease. And with that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? For brutal challenge Requiem for the Scorn, we'll need Aerith as the main damage dealer. She boasts the highest magic stat in the game and we'll be abusing that. We'll be using a materia I slept on until the community suggested it to me on my hard mode build video. I'm talking about Petrify. Quake hits like a truck and has a very big hitbox. We'll be linking this to Magic Focus for 25% more damage. Even though it has a big hitbox, we'll want to ensure it hits at least 3 enemies, so Magnify Link to another Petrify is needed. We'll be using Quake Aga, and by default, Aga version of spells have the longest cast time, and we'll want to speed that up with Swift Cast Link to another Petrify. Aga spells need 2 ATB, so we'll want to start off with First Strike to have at least one when we start the battle. ATB boost to double this, so we have enough to cast it right away. Magic up to further boost her stats. Enemy skill for 5% more magic stats. ATB stagger to get ATB back when we stagger the enemy. The remaining slots don't matter, so I put in autocast for 2% more magic. Phoenix is the best summon for her because it gives her 8 magic stat. I went with the Plumos Rod as it boasts the highest magic stat with the most materia slots. The weapon skills on this weapon are meh, so use whatever. For accessories, we'll want the Choco King's Cape for the God combo. We'll go over that in a bit. The second teammate might be a surprise to most, but did you know that Tifa has the second highest magic stat in the game? We'll be using Fire and Ice Materia linked to Magnify to make it AoE. An Ice Materia linked to Magic Focus. First Strike and ATB boost so she could get 2 ATB at the start of combat. In order to have the second highest magic stat, she'll need Attack and Magic Swap Materia. The Strength Materia for even more magic stat. ATB Stagger. The rest of the materia are here to boost her magic stat even further with Auto Weapon Ability. Odin is the best summon materia for her. She'll want the Crystal Gloves as it has the highest magic stat in most materia slots. These are the weapon skills I went with. For accessories, we'll be taking the Fury Ring that Aerith had in the first build for 30% more damage. Our last member is Cloud. He'll be abusing the Broken Synergy materia, linked to Fire. Another Fire linked to Magnify. The other materials don't matter. I use autocast for the 2% magic and the rest are here for plus 2 magic stat. Any summon that gives him plus 4 magic. Runeblade is used for the most magic stat and the weapon skills are really good. It comes with full magic power which will always be active. For accessories, use anything that increases his magic stat. I shortcut Quick Aga and I made it magnify by pressing L1. Tifa got Blizzara and Blizzaga magnified. Now that we're prepared, let's go into the fight so we can breeze through them. You'll want Tifa as the leader. Hold down your shortcut button and when combat starts, use Blizzara, then swap to Aerith and Quake Aga. Repeat for round 2. If Aerith doesn't have 2 ATB, just use basic attacks until she's full, then Quake Aga. Round 3 sometimes lives, so clean them up. Round 4 is bulky. We'll want to use ATB first and cast Blizzaga from the menu. Target one of the big lizards, then swap to Aerith and Quake Aga. Sometimes the big lizard still lives, so Soul Drain from Aerith does the job. Round 5 is rough. You'll want to ATB boost in Blizzaga the big enemy. Swap to Aerith and set up Arcane Ward on Tifa. Then ATB boost and Quake Aga from the menu again on the big enemy. Finish off the stragglers with whatever you have left.
Round 6 is the same as round 5. Round 7 is a little more chill, just ATB boost, Blazaga, and then Quakeaga. Round 8 is bulky, so we'll need Arcane Ward on Tifa again. Round 9 will be using Fyraga, the same Arcane Ward combo. Stay on Aerith until she gets Earthbound, then swap to Tifa and build up ATB. You'll want to use a non-magnified Fyra to take it down. Round 10 wants us to fire Aga just like round 9, but everything should be going on the Tonberry. Sandspitter is annoying. Either attack it when it comes up from the ground, or just swap to Cloud and go to Punisher mode and hold down your guard button until it pops up, and then kill it. And just like that, we're done. Hopefully you found this guide helpful, and if there's any unanswered questions, then ask down below. And if your materials aren't maxed out yet, then consider checking out the method I use to level up mine quickly, right here. Until the next video, I'll see ya.